Now, honestly, let's get into this. Beautiful, okay? Hyrule is a flat earth. The world of Tears of the Kingdom is not a sphere, but it is a flat world. Now, why do you care? Where did the guardians go, huh? Flat earth. Why did the Zonai leave? Flat earth earth are those chemtrails over my rito village hyrule is a flat earth now how am i going to prove this first step here observation first off this is a sphere this is a flat sphere flat sphere flat sphere flat sphere flat sphere right flat what are the four fundamental forces in the universe first one electromagnetism weak nuclear force second one third one gravity fourth one and this is the strongest force in the entire universe i kid you not it is called guess what the strong force that is real okay gravity it is the force between two different masses the more massive an object is the more things are attracted to it the first part of that is true the second part not so true sometimes you can also have a third mass right there's a three body problem where there are three different masses we're gonna get to the flat earth thing in a second gravity in a spherical world you drop things down to uh, earth as it were and it was a sphere it would drop at 9.8 meters per second squared but i'm trying to show you guys that hyrule is flat and as you can see here link is experiencing gravity so we can understand here that gravity exists in hyrule what if the flat plane of hyrule is accelerating upwards at 9.8 meters per second squared. You ever think about that? I don't think so. But what is accelerating it upwards, right? Something's attracting the world of Hyrule at a really big pace. Theory, okay? Theory here. The Zonai. The Zonai are the ones attracting Hyrule upwards. Their sheer gravitational force is the ones taking the flat plane of Hyrule and lifting upwards, which explains gravity. This is exactly how it works. And this is the crux of my argument, that Hyrule is a flat Earth. Everything you know is a lie. You might think, oh, I think it's a spherical object. I think I know what happened to the Guardians. I think I know what the Zona, you don't. We see during one of the cutscenes here that Ganon says the Zonai no longer grace the world with their presence. Guess what? I just made a claim. I said that the Zonai are still here. If I'm saying the Zonai are right here, they're actually still in Hyrule. How do we know this? The secret stones. Remember in another cutscene that a secret stone, once you take it and you ingest it, you become a dragon. Side note, don't worry about this. It's, this is, it's okay. We know there are two dragons for sure that prove this theory. Zelda, this dragon, and Ganondorf. But these aren't the only dragons in the entirety of Hyrule. There's three other dragons, Dinral, Farosh, and Nadra. Those are three other dragons that we see in Hyrule. So we know that these are probably Zonai looking at us from the skies. That's right, and it's all a cover up. Maybe we'll see them swallow their secret stones in the story behind them. No! And you wanna know why? How do we know that the Zonai are the ones controlling everything behind the scenes? Take a look at Raru, just, just Raru. Look at this guy. But did you notice what happens when he gets mad? You notice what happened? You see this? You see this? Huh? What do you see? Do you see what I see? Do you see what I'm seeing? Huh? Do you see what I'm seeing? They watch from above. They are the ones responsible for gravity. Who's the bad guy, huh? Who's the bad guy? You think it's Ganondorf? Wrong! It's the establishment! And they don't want you to know that Hyrule is a flat Earth. Did I ooh factor the curvature of raw assassin into your equations? I did. I did. Anyways, how do they keep it from us? Rito Village. You see this? You see this right here. You see a giant tempest surrounding the entire thing. This isn't actually Ganon's doing. It's actually the Zonai. The Zonai did it, right? I mean, obviously, Colgara, right? Like, sure. But the Wind Temple itself is the doing of the Zonai. Why would the Zonai want a huge windstorm around Rito Village? I have one word for you. Chemtrails! Chemtrails! You know what chemtrails are. You'll see these spewing out of your airplanes in the sky. Chemtrails! It's the government doing population control. They're spreading chemicals in our atmosphere for population control, right? You see this, the wind temple? You see around it, chemicals. All chemicals spreading throughout Hyrule for population control. I'm making a lot of claims here. You wanna know how I have proof? Y'all ever see babies? 
I don't think so. This is a young woman that I found in uh, Hateno Village. Not a baby. This is a child in Tarrytown. Not a baby. I found a young Goron toddler, maybe, right? But there are no babies in Tears of the Kingdom. I challenge you to find a single baby. You will not find a baby. And you want to know why? Population control. And you know what else they control? They control the sky. Do you know what else is in the sky? The water temple. Example two, the Zoras are in on it. You want to know how they're in on it? I got two words for you. Dihydrogen monoxide. It's a dangerous chemical in our water. And the water temple is the one that is developing it, producing it, presenting it to the rest of Hyrule. You can see right here an image taken right from the water temple. Dihydrogen monoxide all right here. Look at this. This is the location of where the water temple is roughly in Hyrule. You see this? You see this? This is the flow of dihydrogen monoxide over the cores of Hyrule. Okay, might be into one lake. Wrong! It goes everywhere! It goes everywhere! The rivers permeate through the structure of the entire world. So the production of the water temple affects everyone. You breathe air, wind temple. You drink water, dihydrogen monoxide's in it. Now you might be like, hey, dihydrogen monoxide. I, I don't know what that is. Why is that so bad? Well, I got a couple facts for you. First off, number one, greenhouse gas. Number two, it has chemicals. Dihydrogen monoxide has chemicals and it used in nuclear bombs. You ever hear of hydrogen monoxide? In dihydrogen monoxide are chemicals used for nuclear bombs. What are they doing? We don't know. Here's some other dihydrogen monoxide facts that you may not know. Colorless and odorless industrial solvent. This thing will cook you. Second, every terrorist ever has ever used this substance. That's all you need to know about it. It's used in cult rituals. It can cause severe burns. It's in our oceans. A major component of acerate, but not only that, not only that. Everyone who drinks it will die. Babies unknowingly ingest it. If they existed, wake up. Wake up, chat. These are all of the ways that the Zonai are trying to keep you from realizing that Hyrule is a flat earth. Oh, yeah! The muck in Zora's domain from the water temple is made of dihydrogen monoxide and atrazine and the atrazine is turning the Zora gay. You ever wonder why there's so many different colors of Zora? Huh? Do you ever wonder why they represent a rainbow color? Mm. You ever wonder why the Zora have turned woke? How do they control things like this? How do they do it? Example three, my proof, guardians. You wonder where they went? More specifically, divine bees. You wonder where this thing went, Varuda? Mm. The official response from Nintendo, I have that right here, stating exactly there is no one who knows the mechanism or reason why they disappeared. And it's considered a mystery. A mystery that I've solved. No one knows they've all disappeared. All of them, huh? Lies! There's one right here. They still exist. They haven't disappeared. They're still here all along, all along and you know what they're trying to distract you from they're trying to distract you from the truth the truth the thing that i have that i'm trying to give to you how do we know that hyrule is actually a flat earth well let me explain this to you right layers the depths well to prove that the hyrule is a flat earth the depths should be smaller than the surface level if the world was a sphere this is how it currently looks like a one-to-one -one recreation the depths is a negative of the surface an opposite as you would but it's the same exact size weird because this is how it would look like on a flat plane this is how it would look like on the world of hyrule and this is how it would look like if it was a sphere now the depths would be smaller right if this was actually a sphere the depths would be actually a smaller chunk than that of hyrule reason being right this is hyrule on a sphere it would be a conical shape i took geometry I know this, the depths should be a smaller plane than that of the surface, but it's not because Hyrule is on a flat earth. Horizons, right? Horizons. If you are standing on a sphere and you look towards the horizon and you look at this tree, the tree should be smaller. It should be shorter to you because of the curvature of a sphere. Now take a look at this image. 
let's talk about world borders. This is the area that you are allowed to explore in Tears of the Kingdom. What happens when you try to go past this area? You can't go any further. The game won't let you. They won't let you leave. What don't what they want you to see? What are they trying to keep from you? Maybe the edge of the earth, perhaps? And Hyrule is a flat earth. Croanon.com, join us. Join the truth. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. I've been, I have been silenced for way too long.